If you want your podcast to grow, you need to get it on YouTube. YouTube is making it even easier to ingest your RSS feed, your audio-only podcast, to a YouTube channel with one click. And it's becoming more and more clear whether you have an audio-only podcast or you've added video, it needs to be on YouTube to find a bigger audience. Now that YouTube has opened its RSS import feature for audio podcast, I'm gonna walk you through who this is for. Two things to be careful of before you import your audio podcast. I almost struck out on copyrights while doing it. How to easily add video to your podcast and how to take advantage of this new RSS import feature. So who is this for? If you have an audio first or audio only podcast, you have done zero video to this point. Using this new RSS tool from YouTube, you'll be able to pull in your entire back catalog of audio episodes onto a YouTube channel in one click, and you can continue posting that audio-only show, and they'll post to YouTube automatically. Now, this feature is not necessarily for those who already have a video podcast and you're uploading those videos to a YouTube channel already. If you started doing that, you're already ahead of the game. Keep doing that. Produce your audio episode, publish that to your podcast host, to your RSS feeds, and distributes everywhere, and continue doing your standalone video podcast and upload it directly to a YouTube channel. This new RSS import tool is strictly for audio first or audio only podcasts who have not had video up until this point. Now, if you wanna jump to the how-to section of this video of getting your audio show onto a YouTube channel, you can use the chapters below, but if you're gonna be importing a bunch of old episodes of your podcast, there's two key elements you really need to watch out for. Number one, if you've had a long-standing audio podcast and you have used music in your episodes, doesn't matter how old or how long ago, but if there's music that you have played and you've gotten away with being able to use that in an audio only show, that will not fly on YouTube. I imported over 200 episodes of an audio only podcast and immediately got two copyright strikes right off the bat. We'd reviewed a 007 movie and I had played one of the theme songs in the episode. That's a copyright strike. And three of those strikes, you won't be able to use your channel for an extended period of time and you might need to contact YouTube. So be mindful, if you have past episodes with copyrighted music in it, maybe you've played it from Spotify, Apple Music, or you've just inserted audio files into those old episodes, make sure to either remove that from those episodes or don't import those episodes. Now you don't really get to pick and choose which episodes from your RSS feed get imported to YouTube. So you might have to delete those old episodes or upload a new version without that copyrighted music. And number two, if you've had sponsorships in your audio podcast in the past, When you import your RSS feed, it's going to ask you, is there paid sponsorship in this content? You need to make sure to check that box, yes. Even if it's not in all your past episodes, go ahead and check that box here on import, because if there's any paid sponsorship content in those episodes, YouTube finds that and you didn't report it, that is not in compliance with YouTube's rules. So check that box if you had sponsors in the past. And remember, if you're gonna continue this RSS import of your audio only show into YouTube, If you ever have sponsorships in the future, you need to tell YouTube that, and you have to remember to not play that copyrighted music in your new episodes either, because as soon as it gets imported to YouTube automatically via RSS, you're gonna get a copyright strike. So if that's you, no music or movie clips in your past episodes, it's an audio-only podcast with no intention to add video, this RSS import feature for YouTube is for you, and we highly recommend you do it. This way your podcast is on a platform it can be discovered by others. But the best way to grow an audience on YouTube is to have an actual video podcast, and it's easy. You can add video to your podcast just using the device in your pocket. And if you record with a remote guest or co-host, Riverside makes it incredibly easy. You can record high quality video and audio in the Riverside studio right in your browser. Everyone is recorded locally to their machine in the background, and those files are uploaded. Then you can download those files separately, edit them how you like. And if you've never edited video before, the Riverside editor makes it incredibly easy We even have a one-click full episode button on your recordings page, and we will create the entire video podcast, you and your co-host in video side by side. If you shared your screen or uploaded video files and played them in the media board while you recorded, all of that will be put together nicely, and you can just download that video file and then upload it to YouTube. And I have found, even on this recently launched podcast, by having video after just two weeks, we already have over 200 subscribers, and by using the Magic Clips feature in Riverside, we've created lots of shorts, many of them getting in the thousands of views, and this is a brand new YouTube channel. Again, if you're not comfortable editing video, it's okay, Riverside does it all for you. With Magic Clips and a full episode, you never have to download video files or even touch an external editor. Do it all on Riverside and get actual video on your YouTube channel. If you need help with gear or maybe learning how to video podcast with your phone, you can actually do the entire thing with an iPhone and a USB mic and literally nothing else. I have an entire video on that. You can check it out above or in the description. But if you have questions or need help on a video podcast setup, drop them in the comments below. I answer those personally, 
And I'll put a couple other links in the description on how to build a full-on video podcast setup from beginner, intermediate, to advanced setups. But if you're ready to take advantage of this RSS import on YouTube, let me show you how to do it. You want to log into your Google account and go to the YouTube studio for your podcast. To make sure you have the option for RSS import, go to the settings down here in the bottom left, then go to channel and over to feature eligibility. You'll need advanced features enabled specifically, and you might need to prove your identification or be uploading for an extended amount of time. Once you've had advanced features enabled, now you can import an audio RSS feed. From the YouTube studio, click the create button in the upper right hand corner, and you should see an option for new podcast. Click new podcast, and here you can see set an existing playlist as a podcast or submit an RSS feed. To get your audio show to YouTube, click submit RSS feed. YouTube is explaining here that when you import your RSS feed, whatever your episode artwork may be, that will be used as a static image for the video here on YouTube. It's still going to appear as a video if someone finds it here on YouTube, and whatever image you choose for that episode artwork, like here, the daily from the New York Times, that's what you see anytime you click play on one of their episodes. That's what it's gonna look like every time. Now you can change the thumbnail after these episodes get into YouTube, and I highly recommend you do. Episode and show art is square when it comes to a podcast, but because this is a video, the thumbnail would really like to be 16 by nine or widescreen. So you can create those custom images and upload them to your channel after your episodes get published. We'll hit next, and this is where you'll put your RSS feed URL. You'll get this from your podcast host. If I go to my podcast host, like Transistor, you should see a link to your RSS feed, and this is what you wanna to copy to paste over in YouTube. Now that I have my RSS feed, I'll paste it here, and then click Next. You'll be sent a verification code to the email registered in that RSS feed. Enter the code you got in that verification email and go to the next step. Now you can choose to upload all the episodes in your RSS feed, only episodes published since a certain date, or not to upload any old episodes. I'm gonna bring all my episodes in from the RSS feed. I'm gonna upload all the old episodes, and it lets us know that by publishing the podcast, everything will be unlisted at first. Then you'll have the option to publish them all or just specific episodes. I'll hit save, and YouTube will begin importing the episodes from my RSS feed. Now, as you can see, it created a new playlist for the podcast, and this is where those static image and audio only episodes will be uploaded. Now, as YouTube is importing your old episodes, you can jump into the details of this podcast. This is the information that YouTube will display in YouTube Music and for this playlist. You can have your podcast description, your title, you can upload custom artwork if you'd like. And this is also the thumbnail that will appear if you don't have custom episode artwork attached to your episodes. You can choose the default RSS video visibility, so new episodes are always private, unlisted, or public. If you're continuing to do an audio-only podcast, but you want those new episodes available in YouTube by default, then you can set the public option here. There's also more defaults for including paid promotion if you're going to continually have sponsors. And then these are the settings for the actual playlist. New episodes will appear at the top of the playlist and the default visibility of this playlist. If I go back, I'll click the video section. You'll eventually see the progress bar of how many episodes are left to upload via the RSS feed. Once all your episodes have been imported, you can choose to set them as public, rearrange them, maybe choose some that you want to keep private, and then you've published your audio podcast on YouTube. But remember, to appeal to an even wider audience, we highly recommend adding video to your podcast, getting those magic clips from Riverside, share that vertical video on TikTok, Instagram Reels, and YouTube Shorts, and then you'll grow your podcast across all the platforms. It's available everywhere to listen and watch. If you're ready to get started with video and you just want to use your iPhone to do it, I'll put a video right up here that explains it. And again, you can leave your comments below. And before you go subscribe to the channel, we have lots of gear recommendations, tutorials, how to's, and an entire playlist of how to use Riverside to make your video podcast. I'll put that playlist right up here. Hit that like button and thank you for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.